Speaker, in Kenya, there is renewed hope tonight for the manufacture of COVID-19 vaccines in Africa. The University of Nairobi has now been identified as one of the 17 institutions that will play a key role in this effort. Now, the announcement came as the Coalition for Dialogue in Africa in the African Union was preparing to launch an independent team to oversee the plan. Raquel Moigai spoke to some of the officials working on the plan. Here is her report from the Nigerian city of Benin. Africa has for the last one year relied on the COVAX facility and just recently the goodwill of the European nations to access COVID-19 vaccines. But that will soon change if the deliberations and plans by key African stakeholders are to be put into action. You only need 250 to 300 million, I believe, to, to start off the production of vaccine. If we actually put our minds together, can we not raise $250 million? Can that really be the barrier, uh, the, 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 the unsurmountable barrier to action towards vaccine production in Africa? According to global health experts, Africa holds a greater genetic diversity better than any other continent in the world, a fact that supports Africa's goal in production of its own vaccines in matters genomic data. It means that we have a wider, if you like, a wider spectrum to look into. The R&D component works hand in hand with the manufacturing component because you need to be able to understand what you have, develop, if you like, a repository. It's like a bank of potential candidates that you can draw and evaluate for efficacy and safety against your targets. Nothing is wrong with Africa being an exporter. Why should we always be importing things from other parts of the world? With the deliberations being anchored on this key point as the Coalition for Dialogue in Africa in the African Union is set to launch an independent task team on Monday to oversee this plan, a launch that will get to see 17 universities, including the University of Nairobi, and other key players commit to make this dream a reality. Raquel Muigai, Citizen TV, in Okada, Nigeria.